All right, listen, in today's video, I've got a great one for you. We are going to be breaking down a budgeting spreadsheet that I'm gonna be giving to you for free. You could jump into the description of this video. I actually build it out on screen so you can see. And I think what this does differently than a lot of people is so many people make budgeting seem like this daunting, extremely challenging task. When if you bring it back to the basics, it's actually not that bad. And I think more people should be in tune with their finances. This is a great first step to get on track. Now, again, it's gonna be linked in the description of this video. It's gonna be pinned in the comment section. You could just jump in, grab it now, or you can watch how it's built out so you can expand on it and make it tailored more towards you. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Okay, so as you can see, I'm in a brand new spreadsheet here. This is a Google sheet and I named it budget spreadsheet in the top left. Now this is really straightforward. We're just gonna do a couple formatting things here at the beginning. I'm gonna name it budget. I'm going to highlight this, make it a little bit bigger and I am going to bold it. And I like to do it month by month, so I'll come down just a little bit more. Name it January. I'll show you how to duplicate it. It makes it really easy for the rest after you've built it out, but I will name it January. We'll go ahead, bold that, and make that a little bit larger too. So perfect, we've got the foundation here. And what you want to think about when it comes to budgeting and something that I hate is that so many people make it extremely complicated uh, and they have all these different charts, graphs, principles, rules, what they're gonna be saving for, all these different things in here. And at the end of the day, if you're just getting started, you want this to be as clean and as simple as possible. And that's the aim of this specific budgeting spreadsheet. Now, when you think about the budget, what are the two most important things? Well, you have your income, the amount that you're receiving in income, and then you have your expenses, you have the amount of the expense, and then you have the category. So I like to uh, follow the generally accepted rule for a lot of the different financial professionals out there that talk about budgeting with the 50, 30, 20 rule, which is 50% of your income should go towards needs, 30% towards wants, 20% towards savings. I actually think it should be higher for savings, but this is just like a really good starting point if you're just getting into it. So now I'm gonna do a couple more formatting things. We'll go ahead and bold these. I'm going to box them in and same with this bold and then box these in. And I like my expenses to be a red color and I like my income to be a green color because if you think about it, green money coming in, good, red money going out, bad. Just again, simple, easy. The other thing that I'm going to do is format these rows. So I'm gonna do format number and then come over to currency just so it's the dollar signs. It's really clean and easy to read. So format number and then currency here. And then another category that we care a lot about is how much we're actually spending and how much we're actually taking in. So we'll do total income and total expenses. And again, I will make total income green and I will make total expenses red. So we're at a pretty good starting point here. So as I mentioned before, with wants and needs, I wanna make this as simple as possible. I'm going to do a quick drop down for this. So I will right click and I will turn this into a drop down and you'll see option one and option two here. So option one, we will make wants. Option two, we will make needs. And then my needs, I'm going to color code to be a red and my wants, let's say they are a blue. Perfect. So now you can see self-select, you could do wants, you could do needs, and it's really straightforward. So I will drag this down just to give us some wiggle room here. And the other thing that I'm going to do is actually color these in as well, just to make it easier on the eyes to follow along with. So I'll do slightly lighter green there. And then same with these, I just like to color code them and we will do a lighter red on that. So we're looking pretty good right here. Then we want to make sure that we can actually total these at different areas. So we're going to do a sum calculation. So equals sum and we will highlight, here we go, B and hit enter. And you can see that now anytime you have an income, let's say you got a paycheck for $1,500, it's going to format it correctly and it's automatically going to pull it over into income. Now let's say you made $500 somewhere else, boom, 2000, it automatically adds up. So that's super clean, super easy. Hopefully you're following along with that. And then we'll come to total expenses. We will do equals sum and we're doing the same exact thing, but for the expense side. So it automatically filled that. Let me just delete it real quick. Equals sum. And then I will do here and boom. So if you have, let's say a $50 expense, it automatically goes over hundred. Now it's up to 150 and it is like just that simple. So the other thing that's really important with these budgeting spreadsheets is actually outlining your goals. So we will do goals here. We will do wants, we'll do needs, and we'll do savings. And as I mentioned before, we've got the 
we want uh, 30% towards wants, we want 50% towards needs, and we want 20% towards savings. It's just that straightforward. So then what I like to do is just so you get an idea of how that affects based off of the income that you are generating, we'll do another formula here. We were going to go ahead and do equals this times your total income. And you're gonna see that with $2,000 of income, you should be spending around $600 on wants. So next I'm just gonna do the same thing for needs here. So I'll do this times the total income and we will get a thousand dollars 50 percent of two thousand is a thousand these equations are working out perfectly that's awesome and then we'll do equals this times this and again i'm just going to bold these to make it better and now i will make this yellow so you can actually read it okay so that's sort of the goals on what we have here and now i want to show you what your actuals are going to be so you can see how your spending is affecting these specific goals and for that it's a couple of different equations but what we'll do is we will do actuals here we will do wants we will do needs and we'll do savings, same setup as before. But this time we are going to do some ifs to figure out how much you're actually spending. So this equation is pretty straightforward. It's going to be equals some if. So if the category is wants, then we wanna take the sum of how much was spent. So you can see right now, this is $0. And actually I think I need to do format that number and then currency here. So as I select wants for this, you're going to notice, oh, $50 went towards wants. That's perfect. Now this is going to be a want as well, let's say, and then $150. So it will automatically add up. And then what I'm going to end up doing is dragging this down. And then I'm going to change a couple things here. So instead of being wants, we will do needs. And then down here, we will do savings. Perfect. So now it'll automatically formulate those as you pull them in and we will do needs down here. I forgot to put savings in here. That's funny. So I'll do add another item. We'll do savings and then we will do green here. Okay, cool. Let me apply that to all those. And now you can see as I do any drop down from this menu, you will see savings appear. So we got the wants, needs and savings now, and then we can do the actual uh, percentage that's being spent. So if I do equals, we'll do this divided by the total income and you get a percentage here. Again, we'll format this. So it is a percentage format number percent. And you can see that this is going to make it a lot easier for us to just see what we're actually spending our money on. Divided by this and then equals this divided by this. So let's run through a couple practice scenarios here just so you can see what's going on with this spreadsheet. I am going to pretend that we were paid in a couple different ways. So let's say you have your paycheck one for the month and it is $2,000 and then you have a side hustle that got you $450 and then you have your second paycheck for the month coming in. Maybe it's another $2,000. And let's say you had a small bonus for 500. So now you have all these different incomes that you can see all of this was auto populating as it came in. So now you have about $4,950 and this is projecting that 50% of that would go towards something like needs and that'd be 2,475, 20% would be savings, $990 and then 30% towards wants. So it's really straightforward. We'll do expenses. Let's say groceries are coming in hot and you spent $100 on groceries. Now that is a need but then you went to the movies and you you went and you saw Deadpool 2 I don't know what's out nowadays I never go to the movies but let's say you spent $30 because you ended up getting popcorn and stuff too and that is a want that you have there and let's say you had a rent payment so that was a thousand or maybe fifteen hundred dollars and that is another need then you have utilities maybe you paid your electricity and it was hundred and fifty dollars for the month another need there and then let's say you took a you, you stayed at a hotel for a couple nights or a night you spent 315 dollars so we'll do hotel 315 
and then uh, that was a want for you. So you can see this is auto populating. And then let's say you actually hit your savings goal and you automatically put in $990 to your savings account. Things were looking good. The other thing is I forgot to make this yellow just to make it a little bit better. So we'll do that as well. And you can see now how this is going to be formulating. So, so far we've spent 35% of the income on needs and then, uh, you know, 6.97% on wants. Savings is 20% on the dot so let's say that was like pretty much it right now you could end up looking at how much money you have left so if you wanted to you could do equals this minus this and you're gonna get one thousand eight hundred and sixty five dollars so let's say you wanted to just toss the rest into savings again you could do one thousand eight hundred sixty five and this is a super solid month because you were able to save over 50% of your income and you can see how it breaks down right here. So it's super straightforward. This is gonna be in the link in the description of this video. Now the goal of this video was to make this budgeting spreadsheet as simple and easy as possible. Now I've got one that I use personally. It goes a little bit more into depth. I've got some crazy stuff going on financially. So you can see there's a ton of different information you can see here. I didn't wanna be overwhelming. I will release this in the future if you are interested. So subscribe to the channel if you're not and check out this video it's going to tie in directly with this spreadsheet and what it's going to be is me investing all of the non-necessities that I'm spending money on it has completely changed my consumeristic tendencies and it is going to unlock the key for financial future I think for me anyways and uh, I'd love for you to join along anyways thanks for checking out this video and have a great day